sluggers use wooden bats to send baseballs into orbit. Every once in a while, these bats can break. But it takes some serious force. Our scientists measure that it takes 740 pounds of force to break one of the most commonly used pieces of lumber in the majors. A bat made out of ash wood. But there are other ways to splinter a bat besides sawing off a 95 mile per hour heater. Like kicking it. So we wondered, is there a sport that generates enough kicking power to break a bat? To find out, we brought in three of the strongest legs on the planet. NFL punter Mike Cyphers. MLS star striker Edson Buttle. And Muay Thai champion Mel Maynor. Breaking a bat with a kick can be extremely dangerous. So before we try the real thing, we need to see if our athletes have the 740 pounds of kicking force needed to splinter a bat. Mike Cyphers can pummel the pigskin, but our sensors reveal that he kicks with 200 pounds of force. And MLS striker Edson Buttle has the leg to send rockets past the goalie, but he produces 250 pounds of force. Both these athletes have some strong boots, but not powerful enough to break a bat. We're on our last leg, but this guy is known for pummeling opponents with his devastating kicks. Two-time Muay Thai kickboxing world champion. Mel Maynor. Mel uses eight deadly blows to take down his opponents. His two hands, elbows, knees, and his powerful legs. I believe that a powerful kick is more devastating than a powerful punch. Yes! So Mel, we have an angular accelerometer on your legs, and then we have a linear accelerometer back here, so between the two of them, we'll really be able to get a big picture of how much power you generate with your kick. Three, two, one, go! Bally, bally, bally. Bally, bally, bally. Mel's kick registered with a stunning 770 pounds of force. It's the highest kick we've ever recorded in the sports science lab and should be enough force to break through a bat made of ash wood. With his assistants holding the bat, Mel will be aiming for the perfect spot, 14 inches from the knob. If he hits it just two inches further down, he'll be kicking through the thicker wood and the force of the kick will rebound back into his leg, possibly fracturing his shin. I'm very nervous about what Mel's trying to do here because if he doesn't do it right, he could really hurt himself. He easily could cut himself if not actually break his own bones. Can Mel destroy this bat with a kick? Or will he shatter his shin trying? Find out when sports science continues.